morning everyone it is 11 30 on april 16th and i'm just now getting the vlog really started um i got my step goal early i have 3275 no 3257 steps actually it's 11 25 but close enough um and I got it early because I was listening to some audiobooks, but I still might pedal later um, because I've YouTubed watch, you know, from yesterday that I didn't really catch up on and stuff like that. But I am done for now. My arms are tired. My heart is pumping. So all good things. Um, and I... I'm gonna go with my gra with my mom to visit my grandmother who is being watched by my uncle today, and then I have counseling at 5 p.m. and then I have occupational therapy where I lay on the biomat and they work on my neck and my arms, my right arm specifically, um, loosening loosening the muscles in this hand and like doing it, you know, whatever, looser. Um, um, where I go on the biomat for 30 minutes or 45 minutes at 1 p.m. And I'm very excited about that because I fall asleep and I get a good nap. And, yeah. But that's pretty much it for today. Um, I don't know. Our yard has gotten sprayed for ticks this morning because Connecticut is a very, 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 very high um, tick, pi la 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 la. tick population, and my mom just read an article in the newspaper yesterday that said, or like a couple days ago, I think, that said that, um, the, tick, the ticks are going to be really bad this year because we, um, didn't have a harsh enough winter, which I'm thinking to myself, we had snow every other day, and we had ice every other day, too, so it made it hard for the dogs to walk, um, and us to walk, too, so I don't know. Anyway, but we have a spray for us to wear that's safe for humans and pets, and then we also have a spray for the dogs to use, too, so we're good. Plus, they get their heart guard and heartworm and, and to stuff, too. So, yeah. Hold on. I'm getting a text from my sister-in-law to be, and I want to reply ASAP. She was just texting me about a dog food deal that she had found because our dogs eat the same food. Um, as you can see, my birthday balloon is still there. I'm trying to save it so when my friend Cassidy turns 22 in June, June 19th, I can bring it to her. And uh, I have her present all picked out already. Just need to order it and send it to her house. I'm so excited. Actually, we need to meet up and she still needs to give me mine, which is a salt lamp, which, cause she already spilled the beans. And she told me, cause I was gonna buy one after Christmas. And she was like, well, don't do it because I got you one. And I'm like, okay. So yeah, but we're probably gonna meet up like after Easter and like, but that'll be perfect because um, we have a bunch of videos planned, but we also have videos planned to do on her channel for Lyme Disease Awareness Month. Like, she's going to interview me and see what I know about Lyme, and that's going to be really fun and just, you know, just fun different videos and stuff like that. So, get excited. I don't know when you're going to see them because I've been pre-filming for May and I'm almost done. So, you might see them at the end, end, end of the month. I don't know. Hi, so it is 12, 17, and 55 degrees outside, and I'm currently sitting in the parking lot waiting for my mom to come out of Nani's. I thought that I was going to go in and visit today, but apparently we're on a time schedule, um, so I didn't get to go in because we have to be out in 15 minutes anyway to go to therapy for 1 p.m., and, uh, yeah, but that's just, I mean, that's just how it is with, like, schedules and stuff. Like, you love my, I love this thing. Like, guys, this is genius. 
You have, a, you have a dog and old collar laying around? Get it on there and you can have a water bottle strap. I swear it makes me drink warm water because I can just put it right on my wrist. Even though it's heavy, like it works. Genius idea. Plus, duh, I have a dog so it's not like it's some weird contraption. It's just like, oh, it's my dog leash or my dog collar. Anyway, but yeah, that's just how it is with schedules, I guess. Trying to keep to a schedule, trying to remember, like, um, because my therapist's office, they have a phone where they can, like, text you, and, like, coming back this time, I had them put my number in as well as my mom's so they can text me and my mom because that's the other thing, too. Like, my mom has done a lot of my care pretty much since I was little. Um, I would say when I was 18, I started, um, saving doctor's numbers in my phone and, like, picking up the calls from them, but, like, really within this last year, I've had the appointment reminder sent to my email, and I've done all of that, and it's been really kind of difficult because it's, like, I don't know any of this. We need to make a binder, and we need to know what's going on, which, I mean, we kind of have one, but it just, it's a lot. Um, and yeah, I think that's a video that I'm going to make too, like how to be, well, I'm, I'm okay. So like, I'm learning how to be an adult with a disability, like that transition from like, I mean, I still see all my same doctors and whatever, but it's just putting my number down now instead of my mother's number and you know, whatever. But like, it's that transition between being a child and being an adult. You know what I mean? It's like being a teenager and a child and being an adult. Um, cause now like I sign my own papers and, um, I mean, my mom can sign some of them depending on the doctor, but like I sign my own papers. I do all that. And like she, she had an insurance question yesterday about one of the new doctors that I'm seeing now. And they were like, can you put your daughter on so she can give permission for us to talk to them? Which I think that is the dumbest thing ever. Because, like, she works to get the insurance, right? Like, she has the job that has the insurance, right? But yet, I have to give them permission to talk to her about the insurance that she pays for. Like, what? Like, that makes no sense. But, um, I have a planner now, and I'm just trying to, like, do my own stuff. So, like, even though I'm not in school and I'm not working at the moment, my days are really still pretty busy between trying to do a little bit of training with Hope, um, like, just keeping busy mentally so I don't fall into anxiety and, you know self-doubt and you know what am I doing with my life and all that stuff uh, but like today we have two appointments today at one and at five and you know that's a full day pretty much and then tomorrow we have nothing and the rest of the week we have nothing so basically it's just today um but we try to do it on like we tr like the weekly appointments we try to at least Actually, I, no, that's a lie. Tomorrow I have physical therapy, so we do have something. But that's at 10.30 in the morning, so we'll be good. So, yeah, it's, like, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's It really is weird. Like, the whole transition from being a kid to being an adult in the medical sense. Like, signing your own papers and, you know you having more of a say in your doctor's appointments. I think for me, though, with my disability, it's my body, and so they really don't know. So, like, I've been talking to my pump guy since I've been, like, 11, because he's like, well, how does this feel, and how does that feel? And after a while, like, your parents don't really know, and even, like, when I was younger, I, I would just assume that, like, by the way I looked, they could tell how I was feeling, you know what I mean? Because, like, you could tell that, like, if you squeeze my hand, you could tell that my right hand, this one, is weaker than the left, and you could tell that my legs are tight and rigid, 
So, like, I guess for me, it's not really explaining. It's just they know the neuromuscular pain is there, and they know that the weak hand is there, and they know all that stuff. It's just talking about, is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Is this going up? Is this going down? Like, 1 to 10, how bad does it feel, you know? Which I hate, hate, hate the 1 to 10 scale, because I think that I have a pretty high pain tolerance, personally, um, because I've had to deal with spasms and stuff like that, so, like, my 10 could be somebody's, somebody's, like, 4, or, no, I mean, my, like, 5 could be somebody's 10, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, everybody's leg pain is different, everybody's spasms are different, like, it's just different, but, I mean, it is what it is, but, um, yeah. Would you guys like to see a video on that? I mean, I know I just pretty much talked about it, but, like, would you guys like to see a video, like, more in depth of, like, how I went about doing it? Like, literally, my mom's, like, sometimes they have it highlighted, but literally, my mom still has to show me, like, where to sign my name, and my cursive is not good. Not good. I literally can sign my name, and that's it, because my class in third grade with um, Mrs. Thurston was the last class that they taught um, cursive to. Whew, it smells like cigar smoke because my naughty's neighbor smokes cigars. Whew, man. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's really windy today actually too. I don't know. But it's a nice day out. 12.25. Come on, Mom. And I think I'm going to get... Uh, I didn't make tea this morning because I think... I think, I think, I think, I hope that we're going to leave a little bit early to go to my 5 o'clock counseling appointment to get um, green tea from Starbucks. I hope so. Because I kind of have a headache today. And I've been having only water because I thought, like, oh, maybe you're getting, like, caffeine addicted or something. Because even though there's not much, there's a little bit of caffeine in, um, tea. But I've just been having water. Because this is water from yesterday that I didn't finish. But I don't know. I have a headache. And this is, like, the second day in a row, and I don't know why, but it's annoying. It's not even my glasses. Like, I'm to totally used to my glasses by now. What is she doing? I wonder if she had to go to the bathroom. That's why. But, um, yeah, other than that, I don't know. What are you guys up to today? Tell me about your day. Enough about me. Tell me about you guys, like... How are you guys feeling? What are your dogs up to? What are you up to? Like, how's your mom? How's your grandma? How's your aunt? How's your uncle? How's your sister? I'm actually going over my sister's house on Thursday because um, they like to cook and they like to look up, like, recipes. And obviously, because if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that we've made stuff in the past, like banana bread and cookies and stuff like that. Um, but I'm actually going to ask her if she'd want to do a YouTube video with me one day. But her husband makes these really good burgers, like homemade, like really healthy and homemade. So he's going to make one for me, so I'm pretty excited. Hey guys, well, basically it is three, hold on, like... Like, three, hold on, 3.41 p.m., and I'm going to end the video here, because I have my water, because I have a teeny, weeny bit of a headache, and I just wanted to listen to a YouTube video, put on a YouTube video, just listen to it, not have to look at any screens or anything, so I'm going to end the video here, but thank you so much for coming on my day. I got another video filmed. So, so much new content is coming your way every day for the month of May. So, get excited. 
and hopefully some April videos with Cassidy to finish out the month of April. So we will see, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!